Right, Sue, I've got a race on. Are you coming? Well, I'm conscious that you've got a race on because you're hovering by the door for no particularly helpful reason. Hmm. So, no, my darling, I'm not coming. Uh, I've got parish council business to attend to. So uh, I am required for our community. However, if you are going to go, what would be very useful is if you could take this parcel and hand deliver it, which was the job you were going to do yesterday, but you couldn't be bothered to run in the rain, mm. which is sort of fair enough. <laughs> oh, well, no suit today, unfortunately. I've got to go on to no, my race then. No, no, at all. Well, you're running somewhere terribly uninteresting. Where are you running? Guildford. Guildford. Track. <laughs> Track. That's the word, isn't it? Yeah. Track. That's rather like, would I like to go to Norfolk? No, I don't require to be taken to Norfolk and I don't require to be taken to the track. I served my apprenticeship for that before I got a wedding ring. I've done my bit. Mm. All right. <laughs> but, but off you go, and as I would say, run fast. See you later. Bye, bye. Hi, Ray, how are you doing? Okay, welcome to Guildford Track. I've got my shortest race for some time, actually, uh, eight meter race. Back to my route. My PB is 155.8, but I'm not sure that I'll even make that to 600 at that speed. But see how we go. The first one I've done for two years. I want to get a time in for the M55 club record for Walton AC. I think it's about 2.40, so I'll see if I can get around quicker than that. <laughs> Hopefully get under 2.30, but we'll see how we go. I haven't done a sort of 400 metre quicker than that for some years as well. So I've already done a two mile warm up, so I'm just trying a slightly longer warm up than I was to do normally and doing it a bit earlier. It's about uh, five to six now. I've got about half an hour to go, so I need to get my number, get some aggressive strides going on. Bit of a uh, wind down the back straight, but hopefully not too bad. Hopefully it'll calm down a bit, but they've got a series of 800 metre races. I'm in the second one second slowest that is doing them in order fastest last and then they've got some mile races so nice to get your race out of the way early and watch the rest of it isn't it anyway so get on my number and get on these strides and see how we go okay so let's do a little voice over did one little stride there it was one of three so a little speeded up montage there an interesting sort of cloud pattern was it, it try to work out if it was sunny or not so here we all lined up we're actually in lanes i was in lane four first time i've been in lanes in a race for a while and there was two, actually two pacemakers six of us in the race plus two pacemakers one was going out at 70 one was going out at 73. a bit of a shock in this race because i suddenly found myself dead last i mean just about zooming at the back there that's me well to the back with about two after about 200 meters so i was thinking oh, this is about two of a fire and then i actually found out that the first lap i went through in about 71 so i wasn't think i was going anywhere near as slowly as i thought it was so i managed to to get up to past a few people coming down the home straight and I managed to get up to the 73 pacemaker the other one was at the front there leading out in 70 did a good job actually because I got a bit of a word encouragement from the pacemaker so here I come through the bell in 71 I made it and I think at this point I'm in about six and then let's have another look at that in slow motion yeah I think the pacemaker and the leader are in front there so I'm in six I think I've got past one guy and then I then fell back again so behind me at the moment there was the pacemaker and the lady at the back so yeah I think I then I got past one guy and I sort of interfered and then I thought I was heading up towards sort of third and then unfortunately the old lactate with 200 to go really bited and then I was really struggling and then from then on I think the last 200 was just sort of like willpower and uh, if you've ever done uh, some f fast running you'll know what it feels like at the end of an 800 nothing really sort of anything like it so yeah a bit obscured here but I managed to uh, come in in fifth place 227.90 we'll take that it's uh, not a bad effort sub five mining just about I think and here I am having a congratulate with Alia from Sutton District. So I raced done, I think it was about 2.27. So yeah, I was sorry for that. It was a bit better than I thought I would might do. I just thought I might struggle to get under 2.30. So 2.27 is all right. A couple of years ago when I did this last time, I think there was a couple of 2.24s and a 2.25, but it's one of those events that you really can't not do off no training. So the first lap was about 71 and I was right at the back, it's really tailed off. As it was, no wonder I was tailed off with a 71 because that was far quicker than I was thought I might be going. So then I've caught a few on the second lap sort of coming into the bell and then I, I thought I was doing all right with 200 to go then I ran out of steam a bit I was in fourth then I thought I was going to catch third but then as it turned out I ended up fifth so yeah 71 76 was pretty par for the course my PB came off a 56 and then a 60 basically for a 155 so like a four second differential so five second differential with all these years later the PB was in 1995 so how many years that that's 28 years ago so I think I was actually 28 then when I did my PB and I'm still doing these races 28 years later. The same, the same race. 
don't get too many people doing the 800. I think it's quite a nice event to do because I mean it's that was I think it was a just sub five pace and with a just sub seven marathon pace it's a massive differential and the only time I really do five minute pace these days in sort of 30 second sprints is where the lactate doesn't really come into it. I can still feel the old lactate now. Matt said to do a 45 minute warm down today so that might be a struggle but I think once you get into it we're all right but we're now on to the fifth race. I think there's two more races to go. So I think the, the last race will be a sub two. So that would have been like my days of old. But uh, yeah, you certainly notice the lack of leg speed now. But I think if you want to do that, you really have to work for it. And I'm not sure I can really be sort of motivated these days because I think the best I could probably do is maybe a 2.15 at very most. But I think that, I think even that might be pushing it a bit because I think I'll be well up with the best 55s in the country. But the trouble is, is that it's such a short event nowadays and I quite enjoy the more endurance side of it now and you kind of think it's perhaps an era of being gone but I like to do one or two a year just to keep my hand in see how bad I've got I think I've got a 236 when I was 12 to defend so a few years yet before I do a personal worst and perhaps a few years yet before I go in the first race okay hope you found this interesting like and subscribe and all that and see you next one then bye I well, hope Sue will be there as well because so many people say she's a little gem and uh, she should do her own YouTube video. Yeah, well, perhaps I should stop running and just film her. <laughs>